Hey guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today we are going to be doing an 89 rated Future Stars Yusufa Mukoko review. So it's 5 foot 9 tall, high low work rates, 4 star skills, 5 star weak foot, left footed primarily with the controlled explosive acceleration type and I picked him up for 890,000 coins so just below 900k he can start as striker and centre forward. And I have gone with the Maestro Kemsal. I want to make this guy as technical as possible. But the main reason for this is boosting the long shots and the reactions. I want him to feel responsible on the ball. And I want him to be able to take long shots from random positions and find the back of the net. Pace is more than good enough. Shot power gets maxed out at 99, which I think should be absolutely crazy. Body goes up to 93. Short pass up to 98. Vision goes up to 84. Free kicks almost up to 70. Long passing up to 88 as well, which is pretty good. When it comes down to the dribbling, as I said, it's going to have 94 reactions with 96 dribbling. Physical looks decent as well. 84 stamina might be a bit of a problem, but hopefully he can last the full 90 minutes. When it comes down to the player styles, he's got finesse shot, power shot, technical plus, flair, first touch, acrobatic plus, travella, and quick step. So when it comes down to the positions, I'm going to try this card out at striker and cam. In a 4 1 turn to narrow and 4 3 2 1. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the game. The highlights with 89 rated future stars Yusufa Mukoko and straight off the bat here, Gomez gets it into him. Takes the touch on the 5 star weak foot. He has a chance and he rockets that into the near post. Really puts his laces through it and you can see the shot power immediately on the card. We do have the first goal of this video. Can we get another one right here? Zidane into Eusebio. Mukoku makes a run immediately, it's a wonderful run, first time, power shot, volley, well half volley, and he rockets that beyond the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. This guy has 99 shot power, and it shows. Heading on to the next clip, a free kick with Mukoku, I'm not quite too sure where on earth this guy is going with his goalkeeper, so I'm going to go for the far post, and he hits the post, and Eusebio, luckily enough, on the rebound, is able to convert that. Here Mukoko has possession, tried to get the pass into Eusebio, didn't work out. But Eusebio does get the pass into Mukoko eventually. And this guy for some reason just stopped playing but we do get the first assist of this video with the German striker. This next goal a little bit of copy and paste but a great finish nonetheless. We saw a similar goal earlier on in the video with Eusebio making that pass over the top and Mukoko on the left foot who was able to smash it into the top corner. This time on the right foot, the 5 star weak foot coming up clutch and he is able to put that into the back of the net. Here again, Yusufa Mokoko through on goal. He's got a 5 star weak foot still leaning towards the left foot to slice across it and into the top corner and he does exactly that. So we have scored some belters in this video. On the flip side of things, just a calm, cool and collected finish. Gets the pass from Mbappe, rolls around the goalkeeper and scores. It's 8-1 in this game and onto the final clip of this match. It falls to Mokoko who keeps the ball pretty nicely, loops it over the top. Here's Kylian Mbappe who's through and Kylian Mbappe does score and Mokoko does have the second assist of this video. So I decided to go ahead and play weekend league qualifiers because honestly this game in Rivals was just too easy with this team and with this use of a Mokoko card. So I decided to go into qualifiers and he is still making it seem too easy. Great strength there, great speed as well to get into the end of that pass and he scores with the Suyu celebration to go with it. On to the next clip, Mukoko has it here, great dribbling, gets away from Alfonso Davies, plays it back to Eusebio, who turns and fires that into the back of the net. This guy's had enough, he pauses and he does end up quitting. So on to the last game of this video because I didn't want to have too many clips, brilliant pass through from Kessler and Mukoko around the goalkeeper again and he taps it in into an empty net. Still in the same game, Kessler gets that pass into Kylian Mbappe. Her passing is actually very good. Here's Mukoku. You know what? I'm going to go for goal. Oh my word. What a belter that is. From Yusofa Mukoku. He is honestly just almost gone. I made a hole in the back of the net. But what a hit that was. From Yusofa Mukoku. And we do get another goal. Can we get another one right here? Though Walker gets it into him. He's come short to support him. And this guy more concerned about the cutback, so I decided to just create an angle for the finesse shot. And he's able to actually score from a very, very tight angle. Still in the first half, Mbappe gets it into Mukoko on the turn. Lovely pass. Two for Eusebio, who loops it over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. Mukoko with another assist. 
But on to the last clip of this video. Ronald Koeman gets that pass straight into Bompasto. Mbappe has it here. Good dribbling gets it into Kessler. Kessler finds Eusebio. Eusebio across for Mokoko. And a fancy flair finish to tuck away the chance and to end off this video because this guy has also ended up quitting. So, as much as I don't want to, it is time to review the card because honestly, I was having so much fun with this card in three games. He's gotten himself 14 goal contributions. It's just absolutely crazy. This guy is just crazy. That's the word to use. Honestly, he scores absolutely everything. He is absolutely insane at everything he does. Dribbling, shooting, passing, running through on goal, holding off players. He can do that as well despite being, well, not really having much hype to his game and not having much aggression to his game as well. He can hold off players, use that speed and he's a very evasive player when he's in possession. So, you guys know the drill. I'm going to go through each category, rank it out of 10, let you guys know if it's worth the coins and what the best chem style for him is at the end of the video. So, pace is brilliant. He's fast enough more than fast enough i think he deserves a 9.2 out of 10. the technical plus play style does help out a lot as well i personally don't really use a controlled sprint but if you're one of those players that do use it and are very good at it then you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this card because his dribbling as it is is phenomenal and he feels very quick on the ball when turning past players so genuinely this card is just absolutely crazy shooting is absolutely cracked this guy has some custom animations i don't know why or how but he just takes some random shots especially the shot where you slice across it on your left foot he's got two like that one from inside the box one from outside the box so the power shots shooting is just next level with this card shoot from anywhere literally anywhere left foot right foot inside the box outside the box volley half volley just take the ball and it will end up in the back of the net with this card so shooting is crazy i think he deserves a 9.2 out of 10 it's absolutely ridiculous Passing is pretty good. He can make long passes. You guys saw the pass he made to Mbappe. His cutbacks are pretty good. Short passing is phenomenal as well at 98 rated. So passing does get an 8.4 out of 10. You're not really going to be crossing with this card. He's a striker. Play him at striker. That's the best position for him. I will touch more on that just now. Dribbling is crazy. It's absolutely brilliant. As I said, maybe I'm not using this card to its full potential because I'm not an expert at using the control sprint. But if you are... This guy is going to be absolutely insane for you. He feels very good on the ball, very quick on the ball, very responsive. And honestly, the plus eight to the reactions does make a big difference because he does feel pretty quick. Like I said, pretty responsive. So that does obviously help out a lot. I think the dribbling is phenomenal. I think he deserves a 9.3 out of 10. I think it's just a little bit better than the shooting on the card. And the physical, I think he deserves an 8.2 out of 10. He can hold off players. Can he last a full 90? I don't know. I didn't play any matches where we got to 90 minutes or anywhere around it. So I cannot answer that question, but I'm sure he would be able to, provided you aren't running around with him the full 90 minutes, just trying to play around and, and score bangers with him, which is what I was doing. So if you're just using him as a normal player, instead of as a player to make reviews with, which is pretty ironic because you're spending so much money on this card, you want to be able to play around with him. So you do you but he will not be able to go into extra time with your team. All in all, best position for this card would be striker, and the best chem style depends on how you would want to use him. So I went with the Maestro chem style because it does keep him on the controlled explosive acceleration type, and it does give the reactions a nice boost, which is what I wanted to give him, and it does boost the long shots, which, like I said, is perfect for the card in my opinion. You could also give him a marksman chem style, but the only problem with this is although it boosts the long shots and the reactions, it does change his acceleration type to be controlled. I think that just wouldn't be using the card to its full potential because this guy is a very quick, explosive type of player in game. So I think the Maestro Kemsal is the way to go as striker. Or you could also try him out in the attacking mid position. I feel as though he'd be perfect there as well, depending on who you have in your team alongside him. So that is my thoughts and opinions on the card. With that being said, I do bring an end to the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.